Hello everyone. We will continue the topic IDOX, and in this video, we will learn how to create IDOC interface for the BAPI. What we did up to this level, we covered BAPI means we studied BAPI. We did the practical part for the BAPI. Then we started with the theory of the IDOC. We finished with the theory part of the IDOC. Now, what is our requirement? We want to migrate employee data using BAPI with IDOC interface. Now we will jump on to how to create a IDOC interface for the BAPI. So this is our topic, how to create IDOC interface or you can say ALE interface for the BAPI. When we covered what is ALE, at that time I told you that ALE is a proprietary word used by the SAP. So now we will learn how to create IDOC interface for our BAPI. And in this video and next video, you will learn the real importance of one transaction code and how it is making the task easy for all of us. Now we have a dedicated transaction code which is used to create a IDOC interface for the BAPI and the transaction code is BDBG, most important transaction code. So we will move on to this transaction code BDBG. So I will go to BDBG transaction code. It is clearly saying this transaction code is to generate ALE interface for the BAPI or you can understand IDOC interface for the BAPI. You will clearly understand once the practical part will start you will understand what are the various things we can simply, simply create with the help of this transaction code. Now, here I will give the name of our object type. If you remember when we created the business object through SWO1 transaction code, this is our internal identification of the business object. This is our external identification of the business object. Now we will give the same to same name here. What is our name? Z employee object type. I will go to F4 help. Whenever I will go to F4 help, you can see create method automatically coming. Just recall when we created the business object, at that time, what the method name we gave, create, same to same is coming automatically. And behind the method, we binded the function module which we created. Now, we are creating IDOC interface. So, I provided the internal identification of the business object. Means, I gave the name of the object type and the method name I passed. Now I will click on to create button. Now it's a process started now for the IDOC interface. And when we learn the IDOC, I told you two important terminologies are there in IDOC. One is message type and one is IDOC type. Just see, we are creating IDOC interface for the BAPI. So those all things will create with the help of this transaction code only we can create all those things. Now I will give some name to the message type. What is message type? It tells us about the meaning of the data. So I will give some name to the message type as a part of our IDOCs. Suppose my name of the message type is Z empty underscore emp suppose message type for employee i will click on to continue okay it already exists so i'll give some i'll give full employee 
I will click on to OK. Now you can see, but the second thing it is asking, IDOC type. IDOC type is also called as basic type, which tells us about the structure of the data. So I will give some name to the IDOC type. Suppose I'm saying ZIT and I will give suppose employee. So I gave the two major things, which two important terminologies of the IDOC. This first one message type and IDOC type. This is our package. Now we will come on to this process again important. Yes. What is our requirement? We want to migrate employee data into SAP. So we are going for inbound or we are going for outbound. We are going for inbound. So SAP is giving the name of the outbound function module and inbound function module. SAP will generate this function module automatically, whatever is there. Now, as of now, we are going for inbound, yes, because we are migrating the data. Data is coming into the SAP system based upon our current requirement. So I will remove the outbound because there's no need to create outbound. Now, SAP is automatically giving the name of the inbound function module and just see SAP followed some naming conventions. SAP is automatically giving the name of the function module Z IDOC underscore input. The Z IDOC underscore input. And this is the name of our message type. Message type. In real world, if you see SAP function modules, inbound function module, it will always, always be there. IDOC underscore input underscore message type because Z is our namespace. That's for that's why for us Z is coming. But if you see SAP function modules, it always IDOC underscore input and underscore message type. Now function group. Yes, function group. We all know that function modules are storing into function group. And this is the same to same function group which we created when we started creating with the function module, when we started with the practical part of the puppy. Now I will simply click on to OK button. Whenever I will click on to OK button, just see SAP will create all these things automatically. Message type, IDOC type, inbound function module. I will click on to OK button. I will save into transport request. I do not want to link. And you can see this is our message type. This is our IDOC type. SAP created the segment also and SAP created the inbound function module also. And it's very, very important transaction code. So what we studied in this particular video, with the help of BDBG transaction code, you can create IDOC interface for the puppy. Dedicated transaction code to create IDOC interface for the puppy. But yes, we must have a puppy. Yes. So as a part of IDOC interface, it will allow you to create message type, IDOC type, segment and inbound function module all four things we can create from here also as of now our requirement is inbound anyways it is giving the name of outbound function module also but based upon our requirement it's inbound so we only only created the inbound function module in the next video then i will show you all those things that topic will make more more sense to you. You will get more more closer to the IDOCs. So that's it in this video. Thank you.